vaping is an inhale and exhale the vapor produced by an electronic cigarette or also called as e-cigarettes. In management of e-cigarette or vaping product use associated in lung injury, the Ministry of Health Malaysia state that the term of e-cigarette refers to portable device, which is usually called as vape by people. E-cigarette featuring three items. The first one is aerosol generator, the second one is battery, and the last one is solution storage area. The function is to deliver drug, such as nicotine, through aerosolization. It was created in 2003 and has seen been sold all over the world. E-cigarettes are told to have debuted in Malaysia's market in the middle of 2000s and rose to fame in 2010. In 2016, the first local survey revealed an estimated 600,000 e-cigarette users. According to the Malaysian National Health and Morbidity Survey 2019, the number had climbed to 1.1 million, which it is so big number, with those aged from 20 years old to 24 years old having the highest prevalence. In addition, 300,000 Malaysian teenagers between the age of 10 years old to 19 years old were a cigarette user. According to the Tobacco and E-Cigarette Survey among Malaysian adolescents, which is TEPMA in 2016, the age range from 16 to 19 years old had the highest frequency a cross-sectional study of secondary school pupils in Kuala Lumpur in 2018 found that 73% of them had used e-cigarettes in the previous 30 days before. According to the Committee on the Review of the Health Effect of Electronic Nicotine Delivery Systems, the use and characteristic of the device which affected the variability of potentially toxic substance emitted affect the exposure to nicotine and toxicants from the aerosolization of e-cigarettes in Korean. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. My name is Farah Dibami Tumam Kamar Zaman and I will be presenting regarding the factors influencing the use of e-cigarettes. According to Han and Sun in their article Journal of Addictive Behaviors 2022, factors related to e-cigarette use were identified and classified into four domains based on the socio-ecological model. Their individual factors were classified into five factors. Demographic health-related behavior, mental health, perception of e-cigarettes, and characteristic of e-cigarettes. The interpersonal factors were classified into two factors, friends characteristic, including friends e-cigarette use or smoking, and family factors such as parental smoking and parental advice. The organizational and community factors were home, school, online community, and retail shop accessibility. It is normal as growing up teenager to explore the world. Young adult always has a different perspective in life. They want to try everything, hence this relate to egocentrism in the individual factor of using e-cigarettes. According to Piaget theory, logical egocentrism is due to the fact that the child sees everything from their own point of view. It is because they believe all the world to think like themselves. As they are trying to find their own identity and in the process of finding oneself, the attractive form of e-cigarettes make them fall under illusion that they look superior to others by using e-cigarettes. Next, interpersonal factor which relatively plays quite a big role in our life. Many of us spend our time more with friends rather than stay at home. It was proven that friends play a role contributing to e-cigarette use. The problematic behavior of one's peer group affects e-cigarette use. This is because the influence on the quality of your relationship. Young adults tend to trust their friends more than anyone else. Hence, they are up to try e-cigarettes when their friend recommend it. Not to forget that parental behaviors at home especially can influence the use of e-cigarettes among young adults. Parental attitudes have a great influence on children's behavior. Adolescent problematic behavior is influenced not only by their parents' perception but also their overall communication or relationship with their parents. This is also related in terms of close emotional ties between the family. Adolescents often mix problematic behavior if they lack attention from their parents. However, if the parents are an active user of e-cigarettes or conventional smoke cigarettes, they are highly contributed to the risk of using e-cigarettes at home because of their parents. 
Last but not least, being with an e-cigarette user at home or school influence e-cigarette use. Young people are at increased risk of using e-cigarettes if they live with e-cigarettes users. For young adults, home is an important setting that shapes health-related behaviours. As for school environment, risk of using e-cigarettes rises consistently when witnessing the use of e-cigarettes at school or when there is no smoking ban at school. This increases their curiosity to build up over time. Not to mention that nowadays adolescents and young people are active in virtual communities that makes them feel included and belong. Hence, they gain knowledge and support from other people, especially strangers, to try e-cigarettes. Media too plays an important role such as marketing the e-cigarettes in every social media platform that causes them to find it attractive. Hi and Assalamu Alaikum. I'm Fakrul Faizatullah bin Bauzai. Today, I would like to share some information regarding components in e-liquid of vape. Based on an article from Bloomberg by John Hopkins, there are 2,000 chemicals and more contains in a vape. It is very big amount of chemicals that vape users use to inhale. But for today, I would like to share some main components in the e-liquid that truly show how dangerous it could harm for human body. Without any further ado, let's figure it out. According to Drug Watch, there are four components consist in e-liquid, which are flavoring, nicotine, vegetable glycerin, and propylene glycol. I will explain each one of these components from knowing the function and how it gives bad effects to human body. First component is flavoring agent. According to article of Yale Medicine, flavoring agent contains in e-liquid known also as aldehyde and it is widely used in food and baking industries. Based on article from National Library of Medicine titled Effects of E-Cigarette Flavoring Chemicals on Human Macrophages and Bronchial Epithelial Cells, some flavoring substances known toxicity to the respiratory system. For instance, it has been shown that inhaling frequently used butter flavoring as known as dicetyl 2 3 butanidyl can result in bronchitis obliterans, which is marked by severe bronchial inflammation and scarring. In simple meaning, this causes blocking of oxygen airway to the lungs. Aldehydes also cause of cancer to human body. Next is nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive substance that made from tobacco plant. Based on my research from website of Cleveland Clinic, nicotine may result in an increase in heart rate, cause blood slow to the heart, increase blood pressure, and cause artery constriction. Nicotine also cause hardening of artery wall that could lead to heart attack. According to blog of Smoko, Propylene glycol, described as a tasteless, thin liquid that is used in vaping to provide the throat heat. It also acts as absorbing mixture that could cause of drying mouth and sore throat. Last but not least is vegetables glycerin. Based on my research on website of Sydney Vet Corporation, vegetables glycerin used as main producer of larger clouds when vaping. It is also stated that vegetables glycerin will lead to inflammation of lungs. To summarize, composition of e-liquid are very dangerous to human body. It will not show the bad effects quickly if you vape in for once, but you will get the bad effects when you use to vape for a long period. So we need to avoid from vaping as a habit because it is just a waste of time and money. Last, say no to vaping. Everyone know that e-cigarette or vape is a device that introduced to the smoker as the successor to the traditional cigarette. Nowadays, many people are more likely to smoke e-cigarette rather than traditional cigarette. The graph from Euromonitor International shows the number of adult smoking population of vapor product in the world are increasing from 2011 to 2018. The number of vapors has been increased rapidly from about 7 million in 2011 to 41 million in 2018. This situation happened because they thought that e-cigarette is less harmful to the human health rather than traditional cigarettes. But, that's true that e-cigarette is safer than traditional cigarettes. So that's, I'm Mama Farabi Amin, will explain the comparison between vaping and smoking to reveal the fact.
Many people believe that smoking and vaping is the same thing, but actually it is two different things. There are some common differences between vaping and smoking. The first difference between smoking and vaping is in terms of delivery methods. Smoking generally utilizes concentrate or dried part of plant. The dried part are processed and smoked through a cigarette roll, pipes or bomb. On the other hand, vaping mostly uses vape juice also known as vape oils or e-liquids. The e-liquids are vaporized when heated by atomizer and the vapor was inhaled by the vapors. The second difference is in terms of the presence of combustion. According to Scott Robert Law says, when someone smoking, an incomplete combustion was occurred. During incomplete combustion, a substance burned in a limited supply of oxygen, giving off the hazardous byproduct. An incomplete combustion is taking place when you observe smoke coming out of a fire. Unlike smoking, vaping does not involve combustion. Instead, an inbuilt coil hit the element in an e-liquid, causing the liquid to vaporize. The third difference is in terms of their composition of substance. The smoke produced by smoking traditional cigarettes contains thousands of compounds and most are considered to be highly toxic. National Cancer Institute states that cigarette smoke contains more than 7,000 chemicals. So far, at least 250 of them are known as the highly toxic that are harmful to human health. On the other hand, the e-liquid that used in vape are no harmful compound, but it is unlikely to become toxic upon being vaporized. It is also worth to mention that some of the common ingredients used in vaping such as polyethylene glycol are approved by Food and Drug Administration. For the last difference between vaping and smoking is in terms of nicotine use. Commonly, there is misunderstood fact concerning smoking and vaping is that smoking involves nicotine whereas vaping does not. This is not true. Both vaping and smoking deliver nicotine. In fact, it is the nicotine that makes smokers and vapors hooked to the habit. The difference is that smoking delivers nicotine via combustion, whereas vaping delivers the compound through vaporation. So now the answer for the question, does a cigarette is safer than traditional cigarette? Is yes. According to the report by Public Health England, e-cigarettes are at least 95% less harmful than traditional cigarettes. This is because the liquid and vapor of e-cigarette contain some potentially harmful chemicals also found in cigarette smoke but at a much lower level. This fact was supported by Blaha on his article said that there are almost no doubt that vaping exposes you to fewer toxic chemicals than smoking traditional cigarettes. However, e-cigarettes are not totally harmless to for human health because there are also contain harmful substance. Research from the Johns Hopkins University on vape ingredient published in October 2021 reveals thousands of chemical ingredients in vape products, most of which are not yet identified. Among those, the team called identified were several potentially harmful substances, including caffeine, three chemicals never previously found in e a pesticide, and two flavoring linked with possible toxic effect and respiratory irritation. In the nutshell, we can see that smoking and vaping are harmful for human health. These two things are involved a nicotine use that can lead to the addiction that causes someone hard to stop smoke. So, think smartly before try it. The electronic cigarettes called e-cigarettes, also known as vapes, are becoming increasingly popular among teenagers. You may have heard that e-cigarettes are a safer alternative to smoking conventional cigarettes. Based on the available evidence, smoking appears more harmful than vaping. However, this does not mean that vaping is safe. The truth is that vaping exposes you to very real and terrifying heart risks. This include lung damaging chemicals as well as drug nicotine which can harm your brain and cause addiction. Assalamualaikum and hi, I am Nur Isa Binti Yusuf will explain more about the risk of vaping. According to the magazine of The Real Cost of Vaping 2020, the risks of vaping are First, vape aerosol can contain harmful chemicals. E-cigarettes are battery operated and create an aerosol for a user to inhale. When a person uses an e-cigarette, the liquid inside heats up and becomes an aerosol which typically contains nicotine, flavorings and chemicals in which some of it are toxic. Vaping can expose the user's lungs to harmful chemicals like formaldehyde, 
acrolein and acetaldehyde which are known to cause irreversible lung damage. In 2019, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC and the US Food and Drug Administration FDA reported an outbreak of serious lung illnesses in nearly every state. Thousands of people including many teens and young adults got sick after using vaping products including e-cigarettes. Patients reported symptoms like difficulty breathing and chest pain. Some people ended up with permanent lung damage and multiple people died. As the CDC and FDA continue to investigate the cause or causes of the outbreak, one finding is clear which is using any type of vaping product can seriously harm your health. Second, they can be danger behind the flavor. Vapes get their flavors from chemicals. While these flavorings are safe to eat in food, they are not safe to inhale. Inhaling flavor chemicals can harm your lungs. As an example, some buttery flavored vapes like caramel contain diacetyl and acetone. Inhaling diacetyl has been linked to popcorn lung, which is a lung disease that does not have a cure. Third, most vapes contain nicotine which is highly addictive. The liquid inside most vapes contain nicotine, the same highly addictive chemical in tobacco cigarettes. This liquid also contains flavorings and other chemicals. Instead of producing smoke, the device creates an aerosol for a user to inhale that resembles a vapor. That's where the term vaping comes from. Nicotine reaches your brain within 10 seconds when you vape. It triggers a surge of dopamine a brain chemical that makes you feel good. When you expose your body to nicotine, it can change the way your brain works, causing you to become addicted and crave more nicotine. The drug can also cause long-term changes to your brain, affecting your memory and ability to focus and learn. Studies also show that teens who are vape are more likely to start smoking traditional cigarettes. Not only that, teens are at greater risk for addiction to nicotine because their brains are still developing. In conclusion, never start vaping in the first place. If you do vape, quitting can be hard but not impossible. Don't be afraid to ask your parents, teachers or doctor for help. As a quote, prevention is better than cure. That's all from me. Thank you.